everyone. This is Miss Lori with Orange County Public Library, and this is Pantry Science. Well, this week we're going to be doing another water experiment, but first we will talk about summer learning. It is well underway, and we have our game boards available both on our website and also at some uh, places around town. Just consult our website as to where those are. Um, and we also have lots of virtual programming that you'll be interested in. Um, so check our website and also check Orange County's Facebook page and you'll find out about those virtual programs. So today we're going to do another water exper experiment and it will be based on surface tension. Remember we put a bunch of water drops on a coin and that was really fun. Remember I I think we had 25 or 26 drops on one little penny. And also we did a bottle experiment with where we poked holes in the bottle. And if you open the lid of the bottle, water came out. And it was held in if you tightened it up because the water surface tension kept it in. There was no place for air to leave it, so therefore the water stayed in. So today's experiment is what we have here is a cup of water in a jar and we have a jar and a handkerchief or you can use a, um, a bandana would work just fine too. So what you'll do to create the surface tension is put some water in your cup. Now we're outside because this will leak a little bit, but it's really cool once it does happen. So, put your cloth over, and then you put your rubber band around it to create a flat surface on the top. And then, do you think that the water will come out, or do you think the water will come out and then stop coming out? I think a little water will come out, but then you might be surprised that the cloth will hold the water in using the surface tension of the water. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, it stopped. So the cloth only has little teeny tiny holes in it. And it's enough that the surface tension of the water pressing down on the cloth helps fill in those holes and therefore keeps the water in the jar. Have fun experimenting with this and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.